Hi friends, my name is Nairi. Welcome to my channel, Clean My Plate. So in today's video, I'm going to be reviewing how to go over a nutrition label with all of you. The first thing that I always do before I purchase anything or even put it in my cart when I'm at the grocery store is pick it up and turn it around. So the reason I do that is because I put a lot of emphasis on ingredients and nutrients and not just calories so i just want to preface this entire video before i start that yes i will be talking about the calories and serving sizes and all of that calories are not the only thing that matter ingredients are also very very important so is your food coming from processed artificial ingredients or are they wholesome real food ingredients from the ground so i'm gonna start with the first thing that i do i'll turn it around and then you have serving size well not not every product is sold with a um a serving size for one serving so you can buy a bottle of juice for instance and it will have two servings in there three servings in there you don't really know until you turn it around. So the serving size is gonna give you an idea of what a typical serving is. Now, that serving size is not universal. So I have definitely purchased items that I have had, had to eat more than one serving size because everyone's different, everyone's needs are different. So then it will show you the serving size and the servings per container. So in this example, you have two servings per the container. So that means whatever, if you do eat the entire package, all of the uh, nutrition facts that we read right now, you're going to double it. So if it is 250 uh, calories for one serving, if you eat the whole packet, you ate 500 calories if that makes sense. So all you have to do is double it. So calories I do think are important just to be aware of. Um, I personally don't calorie count and I don't encourage it because I think it can push people into having eating disorders or going into very restrictive habits, but that's a completely different topic I'm not going to talk about. All right, let's move on. So next to the calories, you also have calories from fat. So that is telling you for of the 250 calories that you're eating, 110 of those calories are coming from fat. So that would kind of suggest to you that this may be a high fat food. So now you have your nutrients. These are nutrients that you want to limit, the ones that are in yellow. Total fat. So it depends on what kind of fat it is. Is it saturated fat or trans fat? So there is a difference between saturated and trans fats. If you want to know, I will write that down here. You can read it. So you have 12 grams of fat. Again, if you eat this entire serving, you're going to be eating 24 grams of fat. So keep in mind, you're going to have to double it. Now moving on to cholesterol. This food has 30 milligrams of cholesterol per serving, so 60 if you eat the entire package. Next to all of these grams or milligrams, all of these numbers, you have a percent value. So every person is suggested um, to eat a specific amount of certain nutrients. And so what this says, if, if it's 18% of your total daily value, that means if you eat this, this meal, you're eating 18% of your daily recommended fat for that day. So if you eat this package, if you eat half of it, then you will get 10% of your daily recommended uh, cholesterol intake or limit. So it's either a recommendation or a limit. Um, all right, let's move on. So sodium. This food has 470 milligrams of sodium, and if you, so that is pretty high, it's 20% of your daily value, um, but also um, uh, don't forget that if you eat the entire package, you're doubling that, so that's 940 milligrams. Did I do my math right? Yes, I did. 940 milligrams of sodium if you eat the entire package. All right, then we have carbohydrates. Carbohydrates are not something that is suggested to be limited. So this package has 31 grams of carbohydrates per serving. All right, fiber. So if you want to eat a very high fiber diet, fiber is incredible for you. It's incredible for your digestive system and your overall health. This food has zero grams of fiber. <laughs> Mm, I don't honestly do I want to say so you want you don't if anything with 5% or less fiber is very low so you want to have fiber in every meal just because fiber is what will keep you satiated for longer and then sugars so 
this um, half one serving has five grams of sugar and five grams of protein. So you also have some vitamins listed, vitamin A, vitamin C, calcium, and iron. It does have some of vitamins, but they're pretty low in all of them. 2% of your daily value for vitamin C, 4% for vitamin A. Those are pretty low. The only substantial one is calcium. Now we have a new label and a couple of things are different in this new label and i'm super excited about it because i was learning about it when i was in my master's of public health program so i'm excited to talk to you guys about this now so we have a new label what is different in this new label first the servings um are larger and bold type so before the serving size was not large it was small and it was just regular font and now it is bolded and the serving sizes are updated to be more realistic like realistically you're not gonna buy a bag of chips and like eat one ounce like what's one ounce of chips no one really knows that so the serving sizes are updated and then the calories are way larger so they bolded the calories and increased the font to bring awareness to people that you're either you're eating a very calorie dense food um but just because it's calorie dense does not mean it's nutrient dense and there's differences between that. A couple of other things I did is they updated the daily values. So the percentages, they just updated that to match what the current requirements are or the current suggestions are. And now one of my favorite parts is that they separated sugars. So in the previous one, you had total sugars and that, that is all the information you get. But that sugar could come from sugar from dates, natural sugar from like fruit, from honey, it can come from cane sugar, coconut sugar, I mean there are so many forms of sweeteners. But now they separated it so you know the total amount of sugars, but what part of that sugar, total sugar, is added sugar. So added sugars are sugar carbohydrates that are added to food and beverages while in production. So for instance, um, an added sugar would be when you drink tea and then you add a scoop of um, or a spoon of sugar to it that is an added sugar but whenever you are cutting up an apple and you're putting it in this like muffin that you're making and the only thing you put in there that's sweet is the apple the apple has sugar but that is not an added sugar because it's coming from the natural fruit if that makes sense so i'm really excited about this distinguishment because fruit from sugar is not bad for you and fruit should not be um what's the word fruit should not be considered the devil so there is a difference between added sugars and natural sugars one of my favorite things to pay attention to are the ingredients list so when i pick up a package for instance something like this the first thing i'll do is i'll turn it around and i will read the ingredients so this is one of my favorite snacks they're dry roasted edamame um they're super crunchy they're high in protein they're really good for you and the ingredients are just soybeans and sea salt two ingredients i can list them on one hand i know what each one of them are soybeans and sea salt no additives no fillers none of that junk so you don't want the food that you're going to be putting in your body to sound like a chemistry lab like if it's something that i might have worked in while i did research i don't want to eat it right so that's why the uh, be honestly, before I even read any of these labels, I will read the ingredient. If the ingredient list is a paragraph, I, I will just put the item back, but that's just me. So this is just a good image that I found that has the original label, so the old label and the new label next to each other so you guys can see. So we see the serving size is larger, the calories are larger and bolded, and you have that differentiation between the two different types of sugars. I do want to say that the best thing to do is buy food and eat food that does not require a nutrition label. Avocado doesn't require a nutrition label. Apples don't require a nutrition label. Whole foods that come from the earth don't require nutrition labels. So make most of your diet foods like that and you can have some fun snacks like this, but they are still coming from whole foods and not highly processed foods. So that's just what I do and what works for me. Those foods just make me feel great and I know that they're good for my body. And when I eat well, I feel great and I like to feel good. So that's just my suggestion for you all. So thank you guys for watching this video. If you want to get more information, 
you can always follow me on instagram clean my plate make sure you hit subscribe so you don't miss my upcoming videos or any other video that i post and thank you guys for watching thank you for coming along i hope this video was helpful please use the comment box below to let me know and i will see you guys in my next video